Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. This is part one of an eight-part series. Um, so on part one, I'm going to show you how the uh, digital laser works with booms and stability. In part two, we'll be drawing the entire 1800 square foot of house using the digital laser. Part three is understanding how windows and doors work with the disco and stability, adding doors and windows using disco laser, uh, then understanding the blocks and how they work also with uh, disco. Uh, I'll explain how to add labels manually and automatically. In other words, you won't even have to import them or label them into stability. We'll do it all through just voice recognition. So let's get started on part one. Okay, so um, let's go to stability. And so right now, if I try to, uh, try to draw a room, just one second here. Uh, this is my mic. I want to make sure that out. Okay, so <clears throat> so right now, if I went in here. This is what your your uh, stability would be like. So you could add, let's say, 12 feet, right, on, on the width of it. Now, if you wanted to use the laser, the distal, first thing you want to go ahead and make sure that uh, that you already have it uh, synced in to your computer. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You can email me, and I'll show you. But you see, right now, it's connected. Okay, so now the reason that you're not seeing it in uh, in stability is because I have it turned off. Okay, so if I go to while you're on, or on a claim, if you go to the stability icon, go to preferences, you see right here where it says disto, what you want to do is click that, hit OK. Now now, whenever, uh, whenever you, um, uh, okay. whenever you click on a width, okay, two things. You see right here, capture all dimensions. What it's talking about is it, it wants to give you the width. You know, the, this way, this way, and up and down. The, you know, the size uh, of the uh, the height of the room. So the first one would be that 12 sideways. So what I would do is I would get my laser. Uh, let me get this thing because I'm going to be moving around. And I want to make sure that y'all can hear me. Okay, so you see right here. If I go in and I turn my laser on, it automatically changed that right here. See, 12, 1. Right now, this direction is 10 feet. Now, watch what happens when I... See? It automatically put that. Now, there's one more dimension, this 8. If you know it's an 8, then you don't have to uh, mess with it. But let me show you what it would do. And every time that it enters something in uh, stability, you hear that little noise. So you know it's taking it. So... This room so basically is a 12 by 12, but it's really 11 feet 6 inch by uh, 12 feet 1 inch. Okay, so <clears throat> so that's how the laser works. Now, it, on your windows, so let, let's go in here and add a window, okay? So I'm going to add a window. So if you go to windows, right click and then go to uh, properties 
uh, or it's called wall editor. And you see right here on the uh, on the width, it's telling you what you're gonna measure first. Same thing. If I tell it, I want all the dimensions. So the first thing it's gonna ask you is for the width. Okay. So I'm gonna go in here. Okay. Now that's the next thing it's gonna ask you is for the height of the window. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to go to the next room because uh, I got a, a, a table right here that's not letting me uh, get the height of it. Uh, I'll get on top of my uh, desk here. If my wife caught me, I'll be in big trouble. Hopefully she won't see this video. Okay, so I'm going to get the width of this uh, window. And I can hear that he took it. So now it wants the base height so what i'm going to do is the base height is the same as this right here so i'm going to go right here now it wants to know the distance from the left hand side of that window so what you would do if you wanted to get accurate at this point you could tell it you could cancel this right but we're going to go ahead and do this So it moved that thing exactly where it goes. So that's how that works. See, it took the base height, the width, uh, the distance from the left. And now, if, if you were looking at my, uh, in, in this room, you would see, uh, matter of fact, one second. Okay, so let me connect my, uh, my computer, uh, my phone. There it goes. And if you see, you see right there? here to here is there and if you go in that distance from here to here so so this works pretty good uh, I, I, I love the way it works okay so let me see here uh, now we're gonna go ahead and place a door so you can see how that works okay so now to get back to your floor plan from here, all you have to do is click on this icon right here, this little symbol. Now, so the door would be right here. And the easiest way to put a door would be to right click here and then, then right click and hit add door and it plate placed it in the vicinity that I wanted it would have would have I clicked here and add door it puts it right that center okay that's why I right click and put it at the location that I wanted okay so I would click here now um, give me one second here Okay, so what I'm going to do is you see right here, I'm going to put my distal laser right here, and then I'm going to measure right there. Okay, so uh, first that I, I, okay. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your properties. You can go right click 
or you can go to uh, wall which, go right click and go to your wall editor okay so it has that selected so the first thing is uh, actually you know what uh, I was supposed to go to door editor so I'll sorry about that uh, I got a bunch of things going on and it's kind of gets a little confusing having to keep up with my iPhone, these things that I have here, this, and my laser. So, um, so what we want is your door. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is click on Sat With. Now, see, just like that other one, it has three dimensions. The first one is going to be the width. Okay, so we're going to go and click here. See, uh, I can hear it took it. So the next thing it wants is to the dimension of your um, the height of the. You see right here. This tells you what what it wants, right? Normally, I could stop right there because. Um, most doors are six feet eight inches unless if you go to a special door then uh, you know you wouldn't have to do this okay now so if you wanted to get real accurate and you wanted to get that door in the same distance as it is in relation to where where it is, you could go in and place that last uh, measurement. And that's where that door is. Okay, so Okay, now a few more things that I want to talk about. This thing is kind of hard for me to talk. So, okay, when you're when you're drawing rooms, something to be very aware of is when you are drawing. I'm gonna draw a little room here and. So if you know Xactimate, <clears throat> you could go in here and click down like this, and you could click here, and, and uh, so let's say that the room was uh, this distance, <clears throat> and it would go down, right? But and that, that's the only measurement I wanted. So you see how I, I cancel it. With with simbility, what it does, it goes up. It's always so when you're drawing with simbility, you always want to go around this way, okay? Because the first measurement. So let, let, let me um. um so let, let me put another drawing here, control B. <clears throat> so watch this. If I wanted to change the width of this of this room, you see right here, we're six feet, six inches from the left. And if I change this to 12, and so if you wanted to manually, while you have this thing on, if you want to manually change it, you have to click right here and then so I'm changing it to 12 you see how everything moves to the left okay so with exactimate with exactimate 
if you wanted to add a number and you wanted to go that direction, all you would have to do is kind of just move it over a little bit to this direction and then you would click here and then you would add the 12 and it would move that direction, right? So, uh, and look what it's going to do. It's going to go to the right. You see, it goes to the right. So, with stability, if there's no obstruction, it's always going to go to the right and down. Okay? So, um, and, and let, let me show you so you get an idea. So, I'm going to put this down here so you can get a visual of uh, how it works. So right now, you know, we're like halfway between here and you see how uh, the distance that we're at. So um, let's say that I want it to go to the left. I like this position here and I want it to, go, it's not going to work. Because look, if I put and I change that to a 16, is going to go that direction. I'm going to shut 20. That way, see, it actually centered it. But uh, so you got to be careful when you're measuring. That's what I'm trying to get at. And then, so let's say on the 5 7, this direction, um, I'm going to put 10. See, it tried, it wants to go up actually is what it wants to do. So when you're drawing, it's real, real, um, you know, you got to be real careful. A lot of times you have to actually move this thing around and then slap it back to where you want. Not all the time. Because if you draw it right, um, you know, it, it, it'll, it'll work. So, you know, and, and we're going to draw this whole house. So I just wanted to show y'all uh, that way I don't have to explain what I'm doing because when I'm drawing, th it goes real, real fast. Uh, so remember, uh, a lot of times it wants to go always to the right. Let me see what else. That's all I want to explain about this. Let me see the next. Let me make look at my notes and make sure that that's all. Um, so I showed you how it works, you know, the, the this thing here. So you got to be careful when you're using it. Because you might think it's going to go this direction, but it goes that direction. So make sure you know exactly what position you're actually at. Okay, so now uh, now that you know how to use that, on my next video, we're going to draw this whole house. So um, let me see. Uh, so this is what the house is going to look like. I actually de deleted it, so we're just going to start it from scratch. Okay. See you on this next video.